Sunday morning, and that means a full week of videos this past week here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. As always, we'll look at the week in review, we'll look at what's on the cards in theory for the week ahead, middle part of this week's vlog. If you could go back in time, where would you go? I'll give you my opinion. All that and whatever else comes to mind, coming up. From Old Mates Backyard Tech, this is the Backyard Tech vlog. Hey, how are we? Thank you for tuning in. It is Sunday. It is vlog time again here at Old Mates Backyard Tech and a full week of videos, but not many videos out every day. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but at least it was a full week of videos. So it's not like there's nothing on the channel to watch. It's just gone up our seven in the morning here. And before we get into the rest of this week's vlog, Hello, the other half's awake early. Now, as is tradition on a Sunday morning for our vlogs, if you went out last night and decided that the efforts on the slops and terps during Friday night weren't enough to rid yourself of what may have been a somewhat as your father of a week or a tedious week, and so you decided to double down, if not triple down, on the slops and terps last night, and you're paying for it this morning and really struggling, or like old mate, you just slow on the old uptake factor because it's a Sunday morning. I suggest one thing and one thing only before anything else gets done today. Coffee time. I nearly inhaled that. Oh, I did. Oh. We know the vlogs are not clean and crisp and all that. They never were. Alrighty, the week in review. Let's jump straight into it. And, uh, well, like I said, videos every day, but not many videos every day. We kick the week off with an 80 series um, video about what head unit would I replace my existing head unit with. And as I mentioned, it would be another DEH series head unit. Definitely not an AVR. Uh, we had the Monday promo, we had a Q and an advice, Q and, Q and, old mate's Q&A and advice regarding Apple XServe and have I ever considered buying one? And Well, no, that was an easy one to ask. We then did, had a retro tech laptop about which of my last or what laptops I still have in some semblance of working order. And uh, it was the Toshiba 750 and the Dell 5010. We had a Tuesday promo, we had the results, we were late on getting the results out from Guess That Track, and uh, it was out of um, 96 to 98, it was We Like to Party by the Venga Boys. Um, we had a... Old mate's Q&A and advice about the backup software I now run. And as I said, I'm sticking with ESUS because, well, it works and does what I want it to do. And then we had an update on, we had a server PC video regarding the Dell 5010 and the Toshiba P750. The 5010, Debian 11 with KDE, the 50, um, the Dell, the 5010 with Debian 11 and KDE and the, Toshiba 750 with OpenMan Driver LX 4.2. We had Midweek Wednesday. We had Quantastore 5 versus DSS 7 and why I settled on Quantastore 5. I don't need to go back over that. Um, the P750 Laptop Struggles Part 1. Now, we've got to get back into that. We're going to get back into that this week. Something's funky is going on there. It could be a power issue, as in not enough power, or caffeine is far more sensitive than the standard Windows TV tuner program. I'm not saying it is, I'm saying it could be, but we'll have to get back into that. Uh, we have the Thursday promo. We had tech news today with MS buying ClipChamp and 
Kaleidoscape's new mini server able to download movies in just 10 minutes. Um, we had an 80 series video about uh, the A442F auto in low range and only being able to get first and second gear. You really need to get that looked at. With the Friday promo, we had Friday was quiet. We only had three videos on Friday. We had two guests that tracks. This one's gone off. It's done. All right. This one hasn't. You've only got till my time tomorrow morning to get your answers in on that second guess that track. So you better knuckle down and figure out what it is. This one's gone off. All right. Um, TSM got it. But this one hasn't. We then uh, kept going with the, my track. All right. Part two of the track build up. And yesterday was quiet as well. We had the weekend promo. We did a bit of a pro audio mix video for a mate of mine who wanted a heavily compressed drum loop and well beyond the compression I would use. We had a coffee chat video about if my love of audio and IT were turned 180 degrees the other way from when I was young, um, which wouldn't, I doubt would have changed anything in hindsight. I'd still be the same as I am now. And then a car radio project on the cards for the 80 series, which I uploaded. And of course, stupid me, I didn't get everything ready. And when I did, the weekend, the promo had already gone. So ignore that. Um, while that was uploading, um, I said the weather wasn't that great. And well, in actual fact, now the sun's out and everything. So not a bad week. Not, not, not a lot of videos out every day, but it was a... Every day we got videos out, we just didn't get a lot out uh, every day. So I think it worked out to be about 21 or 22 odd videos for the for the past week. So, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Probably could have got more out on Thursday, but uh, didn't really happen, did it? In fact, not a lot happened at all. Unfortunately, I wonder why Thursday fell over. Because we got the 80 series video out and then I was going to do some laptop videos, but I didn't get to them. Hmm, all right. Well, there we are. Week in review. Not much. A few bits and pieces out. There's a few bits in there to keep everyone amused and satisfied if you haven't caught up with this past week. There we are. The Week in Review. Now, this week's topic. We're not going We're not going to go on to a rant for this one. Um, it was last week's vlog of the week before I mentioned going back to your childhood. Well, this week, I want to know your opinion on going back to a specific year or decade or what have you. For old mate, uh, the 70s. Now, why would I want to go back to the 70s? Well, two reasons. Um, mainframes through the 60s and 70s, mainframe servers. And the audio industry, recording studios and that. We started to see the introduction of um, samplers and digital music, right? Recording, you know, the height of analog recording through the 70s. Two inch multi-track recording tape recorders, uh, one inch tape recorders, quarter inch, half inch tape recorders. Mixing consoles that were to die for. You know, even Harrison with the 32C came out. Um, IT stuff, you know, freaking DEC, um, IBM, you know, the end of CDC. Um, oh, sorry, Controlled Data Corporation, I should 
clarify that. Um, um, Ampex. Um, you know, even some of the TV broadcast stuff, like the quadruplex VTRs and all that, right? From Ampex, from RCA, from Bosch. You know, when, when things were huge, I'd love to be, not my age in the 70s, probably 20 years younger, and be surrounded by all this awesome stuff that has led up to what we have today. Um, you know, um, Bell Labs, you know, Microwave RF and all this type of stuff. That's when I'd like to be, you know, so I'd like to be 20 years younger and in the 70s and surrounded by, you know, audio, video, RF, um, telecommunications, networking, servers, mainframes, the whole, the whole nine yards. But the kicker to all of that would be to be what I am. All right, so still, you know, recording engineer and hardware technician. You know, I was watching a video, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And I'd heard about this system going all the way back, but I'd never actually seen it in action. And it was CDC's NOS VE, Network Operating System Virtual Environment. And we had virtual environments back in the 60s and 70s from CDC, Cray, you know, all sorts of stuff. I mean, anyone who thinks virtual stuff is brand new, it's not. You know, you could run, I think it was the CDC systems, my computer, my IT history is hazy, but... I think it was with the CDCs you could run like two different operating systems on two separate screens at the same time. Or two different programs from two different, entirely different subsets at the same time. Um, you know, IBM mainframes with, with, you know, quad tape. You know, nine track tape. Half inch. Um, you know, Sperry, all this stuff, all these big IT firms that, you know, with servers that were, you know, rooms in size. Uh, even, you know, if I could have, you know, I've, I've looked at a lot of research and videos and read articles out of the old Bell Labs when I was doing my electronics course. You know, to work at home, Dell, I reckon I would have been in my element through the 60s and 70s. Um, you know, that sort of stuff. Because a lot of young people probably don't understand this. What we have today came from yesterday. Or yesteryear, yesterday, you know, a couple of, you know, as we say, what, what, what today has came out of yesterday. Well... 70s saw a technology acceleration in everything. TV, projection systems, NASA, you know, communication systems, networking, IT, IT hardware, pro audio. You know, we started seeing samplers come on the market. We started um, digital music instruments, you know, Roland and Korg and um, uh, Hammond and all these type of, you know, instruments that were, you know, electronic and all that type of stuff, you know, a boom in electronic music and, and instruments cre creating electronic, you know, the doors, I mean, the, the, my mind's gone blank, Ray, um, what's his name, with the rolling, uh, with the keyboard. You know, all these, all these things we, we were starting to see creep in through the, you know, 50, 60s, through the 70s, into the 80s. We're starting to see synths come up, polyphonic synths, poly, 
polysynths, you know, single tone polysynths, polyphonics, voice, all this stuff, recording techniques, the ability to, you know, record big sounds and keep them analog and warm, you know, all this stuff. And so, you know, I'm, I'm sort of envious of anyone who was, you know, in their mid-20s through the 70s, you know, working in what effectively the technology then became what we have today. Um, especially the disco music scene. I'd love to have been in recording studios back then. Oh, can you imagine that? I mean, can you imagine how good it would be to have been sitting in a recording studio with like, you know, Born to Be Alive by Patrick Hernandez or Blondie's Heart of Glass or any of that. If you if you are into music, you've got to watch the document, the little mini documentary on Heart of Glass by Blondie. It is phenomenal, really phenomenal. Um, you know, the Tramps, you know, all these big disco groups. I'd love to have been in the recording studios back then, you know, the police, you know, any of them. So for old mate, I'd like to be half my age in the 70s working in either audio or with these big mainframe computers or both, you know. I mean, Bell Labs, you know, employed sound engineers. They had one of the, they had a recording studio at, uh, I think they had like a small studio set up at Homedale. But all that would have just, I would have been in my element. But that's me. Right, that's, that, that's what I would like to have been, or where I would like to have been. Probably half my age, yes, I'd still be drinking. Probably not as much, well, I'd, I'd still have more than I drink today. In fact, I very rarely drink, I'll probably drink, I don't know, I might have a drink on my birthday, I might have a drink with the other half of hers, and then a few on New Year's Eve, that's about all old mate drinks these days. But... You know, that's sort of when I would love to have been around. Now, by the time the 90s rolled around or the 2000s rolled around and I'd finished my electronics and IT hardware course and I'd finished, you know, I was in the audio recording industry, there were things that I wish we still had. You know, I wish there were things we still... I mean, we had, we had drum machines in the 70s, for crying out loud. You know, people don't believe it. We did. We started to see drum machines coming out. Um, and drum loop machines, you know, machines that could do loops. You know, you just plug it into a passive DI into your mixing console, hit the play button, and then all you need is a freaking couple of guitars and a, and a freaking vocalist. You've, you've, you, you've made a record. In the dead set fed income department, we started to see that sort of stuff. It's not, it's not new. Anyone who thinks it is new clearly needs to understand the history a bit better. So, for old mate, it'd be going back to that that mid seventies era, so through well, all the way through the seventies. You know, with all this awesome technology coming out and mainframe servers and mini computers and microcomputers and um, you know, stuff from DEC, IBM control data, RCA, all these massive systems that were out and about. You know, NCR and everything like that. But that's me. See, some people there may say, no, well, I'd, I'd rather go back to the 60s or I'd rather go back to the 80s. Yeah. I, I, I remember when the old lady was working for a major national computer firm here in Australia. And I've said this one before. They were based in Collingwood. One afternoon, we had to go and pick her up. We went in early, and I was allowed to wander around the false floor server room, which is just full of IBM mainframe HP stuff. You know, massive, massive systems. You know, nine-track tape drives and all this type of stuff. And that was back in the... Uh, 
mid-80s. So, I mean, you know, some people may want to say, no, well, I'd rather go back to the 90s when the internet started. That wouldn't be too bad. But for me, it would be back to that 70s era, you know. I watched a documentary, and I, I, I've watched... I've watched it a few times because every time I watch it, I pick more up, but it was the end of AT&T. And I pick up more and more stuff, you know. Um, it's a shame that we don't have like a Bell Labs here in Australia. You know, so it's Telstra, you know, we, we actually, I don't even think we've got any, anything like Bell Labs in Australia anymore. We used to. Long, long time ago, um, I think when AT and T were out here with a lab, but for me it'd be then. You know, I, I born in nineteen eighty. I practically missed it all. When you think about it, you know, I didn't really start seeing it all until I was, you know, in primary school, basically. But I'd like to have gone. I'd like to go back to then. And be working in that era. Can you imagine an old mate in front of like, you know, a, a, as a hardware person, a mainframe? Or, um, you know, 70s full analog recording studio sitting in front of, you know, my beloved Harrison 32C mixer. You know, working on a disco track. I'd practically eat, sleep, and spend my entire life in front of a 32C out of the 70s. Um, or working in a, you know, working in a TV station, you, you know, quad tape, quad VTRs, and C format and all this. I mean, this is stuff that tech heads really should understand so they understand where what we have today came from. You know, I missed out on quad tape. I missed out on C format because by the time we got, by the time I got into video stuff, it was just VHS. <laughs> because, like, I remember buying Dad and me buying our first VCR, and I wanted stereo, which meant at that stage it was beta. But we ended up with a VCR from Philips. Actually, we had three of the same VCR for, from Philips because the first two kept chewing tapes up for unknown reason. The last one we got worked. I'm going to keep my mouth shut as to what caused it to break. I tried to modify it. It didn't work. Oops. I thought I'd be clever. And replace the head drum. Eight years old, I found a head drum in another VCR. I thought I'd try and put it into the Philips VCR. And it didn't work. <laughs> Oops. Now, you're eight years old. I mean, you know, playing around with video at the age of eight years old and you still don't have a full understanding of, you know, RF signal yet. So, the other thing I'd love to have had back then too you know, especially through the 70s, he's, he's gotten into, you know, radio as well. So for my old mate, it'd be back into the 70s. Half half my age now, half my age now, maybe not half my age, maybe 20 years younger. Near enough 20 years younger. And working in either a recording studio Bell Labs, Western Electric, or these big companies that were running around with mainframes and being their IT engineer. Um, if you ever find on YouTube a video of anything to do with control data, or I, I love, there's a YouTube channel I absolutely swear by. Um, because it's how I see the see history, and that's the 
Computer History Archives Project YouTube channel, CHAP. It's an awesome channel. That, at and channel and um, Periscope Films. You know, uh, Periscope Films, awesome YouTube channel. Really good YouTube channel. But, you know, I, I'd like to go back then. Because I think it'd be... I, I reckon if I was working back then in either TV, radio, recording studio or with, you know, these big mainframe computers. If you've been around my channel long enough to know this, you'll get this. You can't argue the fact I would not be in my element. You just can't argue that fact. I would be over the moon. I'd probably be drinking more because one thing I noticed about people who worked in technology through the 60s and 70s is they drank. Because after, on a Friday night, they were knackered. So let us know. When, when would you like to go back? Not necessarily to your childhood, but pick a year or pick a decade or whatever where you would like to go back. Some people will probably say, I want to go back to when the internet was born. Technically, that's in the 80s. But if you're talking about the internet as we know it now, you're talking about the mid-90s. Really. Unless you live here in Australia, in which case it's the mid to late 90s and the best speed you can start off with is about 14.4k. <laughs> it's a, a tad slow. But, you know, that's sort of when I'd go back. I'd want to go back to that 70s era. Because would you take, I, think it, you, I think you could argue this point. Maybe not take it to court, but you could definitely argue it. We saw things improve through the, say, the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and then just take off in the 70s. You know, audio, video, RF, um, IT. I mean, by the 70s, all hell broke loose. You know, or is there a company from a specific year you'd love to go back and work for? Um, I'd be in my element in those old server rooms, you know, mainframe servers, terminals and disk packs and just all sorts of stuff. I reckon it'd be awesome. And you can't, say I wouldn't be having a ball. There's a video that's been floating around on YouTube for a couple of years about, a, I think it's an 18 year old kid who bought a mainframe. Old, I think it's either a 70s or 80s mainframe. I think it's an S or whatever the S390 became. It's not a cool store, I know that. But if you find the video, go and have a watch of it. It's actually quite interesting. Um, I, <laughs> I, was, I was talking to a mate of mine last night privately and I said to, I said to him, can you imagine if I got my hands on a, um, a, uh, you know, one of the main, uh, a second hand supercomputer, you know, say like a four cabinet supercomputer. And his comment to me was, we'd never see you again because you'd be inside the cabinets all the time having a bit of a bash about internally. And he was right. I'd be all over that hardware. Anyway, there we go. Now, so put your comment, put your things down in the comments section below and let us know. What would you like, where would you like to go back to? As I said, for old mate, it'd be the 70s back into when technology just exploded off the charts. You know, an era, a year, a company, let us know. Alrighty, so there's this week's topic. Now, what have we got on the cards for the week ahead here at Old Mates Backyard Tech? Good question. Really good question. Um...
There's a few operating systems I want to have a stick about. Actually, it's not going to be a full week this coming week either, guys. One of the days this coming week, and I don't know which day it is yet. I don't know which day. I'm not going to be here. So I've got things I need to do next week. One one of the days next week, all right? So I'm not going to be here. Um, so it'll be a six video week, a six day week instead of a full seven. And the reason being is I've got some stuff that I need to do with the other half. Um, some uh, domestics around the house, but I've got some other private stuff that I need to do this coming week too. So one of the days, I don't know which day it is yet, I'll have to figure it out. I won't be here, all right? Uh, we've got some operating systems I want to have a sticky beak at. Uh, a KIWS tutorial on the rec window and the mix window for Harrison Mixbus 32C. I've had a viewer get in touch with me overnight wanting a better understanding. They too have downloaded Mixbus, but they're confused about the mix window and the rec window. They understand the editor, but they want a better understanding in a KIWS tutorial format for mix and rec. I'm going to explain them because they're actually very easy to get your head around. <coughs> um, they don't actually understand the EQ either very well. See, having sat in front of a 32C console, I do. And, of course, the Holy and now know what all experts do as well. They'll claim they've never sat in front of a Harrison, but we all know that's crap because the Holy and now experts know the everything. I love how some of them have said they they don't know pro audio. I call BS on that because if you're a Holy and now know what all expert, you're supposed to know the everything. But I'll, I'll do that. We've got that. Um, and random other bits. Um, I spent... One thing I did do last night was go through some more emails, and we've got some email videos coming up as well. Now, I mentioned in the Sunday promo, I've got a question from a viewer regarding a... a uh, computer company that uh, I am banned from talking about by the holier than now experts. They want advice on getting into them. Um, I'm not going to make that video because it's illegal. I'm not allowed to make, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Nothing. It's illegal. I have to not talk about it. So unfortunately, we're not going to have a video on that. Um, because I don't want to get into trouble. Um, it's a IT company that I used to love talking about. I own two of their systems, but I'm not allowed to talk about them. It's illegal. I've been banned. So the best way I'm going to answer this viewer's question is to email them back. It's probably safer. Anyway, so a few bits and pieces on the cards for the week ahead. Tech News Today will be back as well. And uh, whatever else I can think of. There are a couple of operating systems I want to have a sticky beak at too this coming week. We'll get sucked back into the 750s caffeine issue and all this type of stuff. So there we go. Anyway, stick around. We can hopefully, if the weather looks like it's going to hold out there at the moment, we'll um, we'll get out and test that uh, those two extra plugs that are in the 80 series and see if they are speaker plugs. Because if they are, it's going to make life a lot easier. Much, much easier for me to do the um, transplanting of the speakers. I hope. We'll have to see how we go. Anyway, there we are. This week's vlog done. Have a good one.